For those of you who are a bit curious about that, I started playing this particular game around uh, October 2009. At that time I had one cc hard mode for uh, games 6, 7 and 8, and maybe UFO also. And at that time I sort of managed to go up all the way till level 7. Even beating most of level 7 I think, and then I basically stopped for a while and started you know, moving up in the difficulty levels and beating most of the games of Lo on Lunatic and I, I ended up re yeah, moving on Shoot the Bullet starting it again in December 2009 which was basically yeah and, and I finished it two weeks later barely a few days after I beat uh, Subterranean Animism on Lunatic, which was my last Lunatic uh, completion of a game. As in between 6 and uh, 12, you know. Anyway, hello and uh, let's move on with the uh, level 2. We're going to have some super hard stuff again. Unnatural chill. It, looked like, it looks like something interesting might happen here. And it's Chirno. Cherno, as everyone knows, is a fire fairy, and uh, she's very intelligent. Yeah, that's it. She's very intelligent. There's a whole meme around it. I think something about an seven square. This seven square means intelligent. I think that is it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Seven square, and. Uh, She's very hard as, you know, everything early in this game. This game doesn't really get easy until the extra stage. And now we have Letty. Letty is pretty well known for being very thin. Look at her posture. She's, she's very tall and her hitbox is actually, when you play against her in Perfect Cherry Blossom, even though she is thin, the hitbox is ridiculously small. And there's really no point in using any shot type apart from a Marissa A. Because otherwise you're just going to miss everything. Anyway, this time we have Diamond Blizzard. One of uh, Cherno's uh, spell cards. I think, yeah, it might be... I can't really... Diamond Blizzard, but... Well, it's either a new card or a recycled one from uh, one of her appearances in... Uh, Six or seven. I can't remember. It looks a bit like. No, it's not. Woo, almost got hit there. It's not her spell card in Perfect Show Blossom. So, um. Uh, ha. Huh. Maybe it's a normal mode spell card and that's why I can't remember it. Oh well. As you can see, it's really hard because I keep failing all the time. And, uh, yeah, Letty likes to use uh, her miss and the bullets shoot out from the miss. It's slightly interesting. And if take pictures of the mist then it actually cancels out the mist itself and bullets won't come out of it but yeah I think that's also the idea behind behind her non spells in uh, perfect show blossom and wow well, there's a lot of attacks in this what does chill know free sign minus K minus K that's well, K probably stands for Kelvin, but uh, you can't have minus Kelvin, so... Uh, well, maybe that's, you know, it's a Zoom-style uh, exaggerated thing. Basically, it's so cold that we get the negative Kelvin temperature, which is impossible because zero Kelvin normally means that nothing is moving at all. But uh, there you go. Is there another scene? Yes, sir. Now it's northern winter. If you, yeah, if you shoot the bubbles, then it will cancel everything which comes afterwards. So, uh, of course, you don't have the time to charge enough to cancel everything, but. Really? Do you need hints? Probably not. It's aimed at you, so. Well, the bubbles are aimed based on your position and one of them goes actually for you. If you want to be precise. Why do you want to be precise like that? 
part. And there we go. That was intense. And uh, there's no next scene. Level 2 is over. And this episode is over. Man, that was epic, wasn't it? Uh, what does Aya have to say about these pictures? She can't write good articles with pictures like these. Looked more like mist than fog, but whatever. The uh, mist than snow, sorry. <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah. Blah. I think these pictures are pretty good at picturing the cold mist. Photographic proof of the yokai is doing. Ooh. Ah, uh, well. Um. Superficial. Well, next time we're fighting the superficially busy yokai and the bookish historian. Um. I'm not sure who the superficially busy yokai is, actually. Ha! <laughs> so, uh. Um, why is that? Who could it be? Oh well, we figure that that, that that we'll figure that out next time. God, I can't speak English for the life of me. Bye.